Hey guys, it's Peter2776. Uh, this video is actually to show you a pretty cool tweak for a Motorola Atrix HD widget that I've installed on my Acer Econia A500. I don't know if it'll work on other tablets. Um, I kind of don't see why not, but I know it does work on the Acer A500. Now, there's a couple of things beforehand that you need to uh, know or do before you install this. Uh, you're going to need a third-party launcher, such as Apex or Nova Launcher. The reason being is they have a setting where you can select your default launcher. Um, so I found that to be the easiest way. Um, for the purpose of this example, I've used, um, I'm going to use Apex Launcher, which I'll get to in a moment. So first, um, download Apex Launcher. And once you do that, you want to Google Motorola Circles Widget. And it's the Motorola Atrix widget, which will come up as a result through XDA developers. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and install it uh, again because I do have it installed, but just know it will take you to the um, XDA developers website. It will give you the download link and um, you'll basically download it onto your tablet. Um, what you'll also need is a file manager such as ES File Explorer because as soon as you download it, you're going to open it with the uh, ES File Explorer easy zip uh, file. So it'll extract all four um, files that you get from these from this download so um, let me just give you an example let's just pretend we've already downloaded the file it's gonna go to um, ES File Explorer and let me just go back here it's download and I've already got it but in case you don't it's gonna go onto that folder for um, Atrix HD widgets you're gonna see the four files here now mine are already extracted so what you'll do when yours are still zipped is click on select all, click each one and extract. Once it's extracted, you'll have individual APKs and you'll install each one. Once that is done, it, it's, that means it will already be saved. You will go to Apex Launcher. Um, in this case, I haven't set anything as a default, but we know that for, in order for this to work, it has to be on home screen. So once you're on home screen, you can install this widget. So if you're not on home screen by default, what you're gonna do is um, you go to your Apex Launcher. This is my Apex Launcher right now. You go to Settings, you go to Apex Settings, and you're gonna go to Advanced Settings after that. Once you go to Advanced Settings, you're gonna go to Set Default Launcher. Now I've already got it set, but in your case you may have Apex Launcher since that's what you'd be running at the time you would just change it to home screen and that will be the Motorola Atrix um, launcher it'll look a little bit different uh, in the sense that you can you know add your um, blank page or choose from a template that they've already have and you can manage your screens like you know which one you want to have in which order and so on so it looks a little different but once you're actually using it it runs just as smooth it doesn't uh, change any other functionality so I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's a pretty cool little tweak. Um, each circle actually has its own functionality. So you have your digital clock, or you can switch it to an analog clock. And uh, you can add more cities for weather. In this case, I just have one. And you can activate on or off if you want to see your battery display or not, or just go into your, your settings and, and so on. So it's pretty cool. Um, I like it. I'm going to definitely keep that for a while. I also have the Asus Transformer um, weather widget, which I probably would do a different video on, but that one's more self-explanatory. There's not much of a setup for that one. You just download the APK, and you're good to go. So I did a video on this one because it seems a little bit complicated, but the instructions are on XC developers. It should help you out with that. And I gave you my own description of how to do it. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. If you guys are able to get this working on any other tablet, um, you know, it'd be helpful to let me know. Um, I'm going to try to do this on the Nexus 7, and if hopefully it works, um, maybe I may do that this afternoon. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, talk to you guys later.